Hello. The ancient river delta region at Mars Jezero Crater has yielded some of the most important samples so far. These samples include organic compounds, according to a NASA blog article. We don't yet know whether or not they originated from prehistoric Martian life, and it will be some time before we do. The Jezero Crater on Mars was originally a lake with a linked river delta, according to data from the Perseverance rover that was discovered last year. Around 3.5 billion years ago, there may have been a lush, livable ecosystem there. The rover collected its first sample in September of last year by drilling two inches into the surface of the planet to retrieve a rock core, one of many that will eventually be returned to Earth. The rover has already collected 12 rock samples, but the most recent is the most significant since it contains organic components. On July 20, Perseverance took a sample while researching the sedimentary rocks in the 28-mile-wide Old River Delta. A sample taken from Wildcat Ridge on the River Delta was scanned by the rover using its scanning habitable environments with Rominous Luminescence for Organics Chemicals, or Sherlock, instrument. It is believed that mud and fine sand settled in a saltwater lake that was evaporating billions of years ago, forming the ridge, a rock that is about three feet wide. The samples contain a group of organic compounds related to sulfates, according to Sherlock's analysis. The ability of sulfate minerals to store a considerable amount of knowledge about the aquatic environment in which they developed is crucial. We chose Jezero Crater because we thought it would give the most scientifically remarkable material, said Thomas Zerbushin, NASA's acting science administrator in Washington. The samples that the Mars Sample Return Campaign will send back to Earth from these first two science campaigns exhibit an incredible diversity. It's crucial to remember that not all organic molecules can exist without life. Because some can be produced through chemical processes, this is the case. Both Perseverance and the Curiosity rover had previously discovered organic compounds. However, the new sample finding is noteworthy because it was made in an area that was chosen for investigation because it may have formally supported life. The organic substance was found in a sedimentary rock known for preserving remnants of extinct life, said Caltech's Ken Farley. No matter how capable Perseverance's sensors are, we won't know what's in the Wildcat Ridge sample until it's brought to Earth for in-depth examination as part of NASA's Mars Sample Return effort. The Mars Sample Return Initiative holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the most recent sample taken by the Perseverance rover. NASA and ESA will develop spacecraft and technologies for what NASA calls one of the most ambitious projects in spaceflight history. By roughly 2033, the two agencies hope to send rockets and autonomous systems to Mars to collect the Perseverance samples and bring them to Earth. In around two months, NASA has already declared that it will place a few sample tubes nearby the base of the Delta. Years will pass while they are left there waiting to be retrieved and then analyzed on Earth. The information they provide could significantly change how we perceive our place in the universe. Thank you for watching.